Holy shit, they got the Militiaman special just then, good god. G'day mates and welcome to Door Kickers 2 Task Force North. I seriously love this game and got blindsided by an update I just was never expecting. So they just added another squad to the game, they've added the CIA previously, but now they've added the Nowaraki SWAT. The Nowaraki being the country that all of these brave Americans are currently dying in. Don't worry, I'm sure the average American can find it on a map. Now the reason I'm so keen on this is because one of my favorite movies is Mosul, which is basically a movie about the, uh, the Iraqi SWAT teams in Mosul, unsurprisingly, and how they've actually stepped up quite well to fight. There was a really good uh, long article about them, which I'll actually, I'll see if I can link to, which inspired the movie, which basically speaks about how these SWAT teams were going up against, uh, you know, ISIS, and they were just meant to be cops, you know, they, they weren't exactly, they weren't exactly equipped with the, uh, with the heavy, uh, the heavy weaponry, rather, of a, uh, of a military. So since doctrines still don't exist in the game, the main difference between the squads are the unit types. You've got obviously Assault here, Support, Marksman, Grenadier, and the CIA with their undercover and their black ops, everything's slightly different. You know, a lot of the classes share very, uh, very similar traits, but the main thing the CIA has is that they can go undercover really well, uh, and that they only have four guys, which is actually a big downside for some of the bigger missions. The Nowaraki, however, they're very different and quite good fun. So to start with, we have our leader here, Major Yassim, right? These guys are the basic soldiers. Then there's sappers. These guys can carry a load more uh, explosive shit. But then there's the militia. And now these guys are why I'm making the video, because I figured it'd be really funny to bring these guys in. Now the militia, see, there's nothing really special about them. They have some pretty shit picks in terms of weaponry. They've got, they do have the FAL, which is incredible. I, I love the right arm of the free world. They can bring in uh, an RPK, an M16, an AK-47 underfolder. Not just a normal AK though, weirdly enough. They can only bring in one plate at best. That's uh, that's it. Oh, they can bring Molotovs actually, which is, which is pretty cool and uh, no special weaponry, but the main advantage of these guys, the thing that they actually do that's useful, is that they only count as half a person. That's right. Uh, oh, this, this guy's called Star-Lord. Oh shit, now he's the coolest Star-Lord. So yes indeed, we can flood missions with these guys, and I'm gonna see how many I can actually fit into a single map. Let's uh, show the assault first real quick, because there we go, we have the shields. So we have the uh, level 4 shield and the level 3 shield. They can bring three demolition charges, which are, I think, slightly different to the demolition charges the rangers have. Let me check. Yeah, the rangers have a wall breach while the sappers have a demolition charge. How cool is this art? Here we go. Give no quarter. So we're going to go through and we're going to play these missions to start with. And then I'll try and find, like, the biggest mission I can to load in as many uh, militiamen as possible. Oh yeah, and in an update I haven't covered, they also added uh, NVGs and, like, darkness and night vision and turning the power off in some missions as well. This game just keeps getting better. I really like it. They also added special slots for missions. These ones, you have to at least be concealment 8, so you have to basically be a- basically you have to appear as a civilian to, uh, to spawn there. I think it's the same up here, yep. Uh, but then down here, we have that mobility must be at least eight. So only high mobility troops can spawn here. I'll just quickly show you here. There you go. As you can see, I've deployed half of a troop because I can put down two militia. There you go. But if I put down an assault, he counts as a whole troop. So we're just going to see if we can win by swarming with militiamen. The top row all have FALs. The next row have M16s. The last row have AK-47 underfolders. Okay, we've hit a problem on this map. I've run out of spots that I can put my guys... Uh, and I haven't run out of guys, so I'm gonna need to swap two of these for, I guess, a sapper and an assault. Just realized this guy's called True Believer. Well, I'm a true believer in the power of a 40 mic mic. Hey, there sure is a lot of those guys, huh? I've never seen a scarier sight. Well, let's see how this goes. Oh, oh, oh! Molotov out! Oh, holy shit, I think we only lost one guy in the exchange. Or maybe two. Yeah, we lost two. Listen, I simply outnumber the insurgents on the map. I will win. All right, we good? We won that initial- I don't know how the fuck I survived that, actually. Him na- Look at that headshot! My god! <laughs> Man, the fire effects are actually really cool. I've yet to, uh, yet to hit anyone with one, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god! Damn, Star-Lord! Nice shooting! Oh, shit, hang on. Oh! Star-Lord just got killed! <laughs> I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go kill the guy that killed Star Lord. One second. <laughs> oh shit! 
Oh, dude. Okay, this is the difference. What are you doing? Just stood there. That's the difference between the militia and the uh, and the normal guys. These guys actually know how to shoot. The militiamen's stats are pretty friggin' terrible. I'm sending a uh, single militiaman who is uh, unfortunately very expendable to go just search the- Oh my- As I was saying about how expendable those militiamen are, let me just throw a Molotov into that room that he was previously going to clear. Let's just follow that up with a frag. Oh my god, he's on fire. Wait. Guys, shoot shoot him. He's he's there. He's he's just there. He's also actively on fire. He's also got a suicide vest. Someone shoot him. Oh, there we go. Oh, damn it. Didn't even get to blow up my wall. Lost four guys. Still got two stars. Ah. Let's at least give a quick go on the challenge for a complete plan and no pause. I know it's probably going to go terribly, but I think it'd be really funny to try it. I predict only chaos will come of this plan. Let's go. Okay. All right. Good starts. Okay. One guy down. We've lost... Okay. Two guys. Oh, we're now being suppressed by a dude. This is terror. Oh, no. We got the suicide bomber. Okay. We've fragged the room. Oh, there is just a group of insurgents here that I can't deal with. Okay, I'm going to send the alpha boy now. Go. Hang on, how many losses have we had? We've lost like a half of our guys, haven't we? Oh, oh, there's an insurgent trying to escape. Okay, clearing those rooms. Okay, molotoving a window. Don't know why I put that in, honestly. Okay, these guys. Ooh, ooh he caught that one on the run. So far, so good. Holy shit, we may have actually done it first time with a single plan. Just from sheer weight of numbers. Wait, and... Ooh, shit behind him. No! Oh my god, he got saved! He got saved! By the right arm of the free world. Oh, what a run! We only lost one more guy, and we did that without pausing and with a single plan in 57 seconds. Good god. Now we have University Assault. Uh, the F-Tree Wackos have taken over a university building. They've decided to move from book burning to throat slicing, which means we need to go in right now. In most missions, you have cameras hacked that show you what, you know, like what's going on through them, which is usually a hostage. Uh, it's called execution. Uh, in this case, the camera is just the cameraman. I have a stupid number of soldiers. I have 16 soldiers, which I think is the highest I've ever achieved. I'm not sure if it is the highest you can get in a mission, you know, without like modding and making your own mission, but I'll have to go have, uh, go have a look after this. God, they even look like they want to rush B. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Okay, hold on, let's stop real quick. First of all, we shot the suicide bomber. That guy is stunned. Okay, these guys are all stunned and suppressed. We've got the uh, two sappers moving in. One is currently blocking the other shot, though. Uh, okay, boys, Charlie guys, you can go. Oh. Okay, we discovered that the crossing the militiamen are currently making is incredibly dangerous and should not be attempted. All right, let's see if take two goes a little better. Wait for that. Okay, flashbangs in. Alpha goes. Charlie goes. Come on, start nailing them. Yes, good, good, good. Okay, you'll see my strategy on this side is simply wait because uh, this line is very fortified and the last time it didn't go well. Uh, these guys, however, are actually clear to move in. All right, bravo, go code. Let's clear those windows. Here we go. Oh. What the fuck just happened? What is happening right now? Wait, the- Oh. Oh, oh no. Yes, him! I- I'm terrified. There, there is an insurgent suicide bomber in this smoke. I don't know where he is. Who? Oh my god, how did I survive? How? Genuinely, how did he not explode and kill all of us? That is two machine gunners and two AKs. You're staring down there, Puma. I'm gonna back you up a little, and we're just gonna throw grenades down that hallway instead. Actually, even better idea. I've just had a much better idea. Quick, let's uh, sweep these rooms. Oh my god, there's so fucking many of them. Where did they come from? Quick, just fucking hit him in the side, idiot. Go! Oh, what a crossfire. Holy sh... Did I lose anyone in that? I, I think I think everyone's still alive. How the shit did I not lose anyone? How? Okay, right. The idea that I'm doing, by the way, is I'm planning a demolition charge in the bathroom to simply outflank them. Let's try blowing this up and just praying that there's no hostages behind it. Oh! 
Okay, I don't think we got any hostages at least. I love it when they detonate themselves and you're like not even close to being within range. It's just very funny at that point. It's like they're rage quitting real life. This is a really fun mission. Like this is probably one of the most dynamic battles I've ever had in this game. That fucking crossfire there, for instance, was insane. This map's really cool. Holy shit, they got the Militiaman special just then. Good God. Oh, very synchronized, very operator of you. I like it. And she'd be like the opposite of operator. You'd never want to synchronize your reloads. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> That's it's in fact like the worst thing you could do. <laughs> there's there's a fucking bomb. There's fucking IEDs in this school. Oh my god. Oh, he got our man. Holy shit, there's more of them. Yo, did that guy have a suicide vest on? You still bodied him? Holy shit. <gasps> oh, die. Oh my god, there's so many of them. This mission suddenly got a lot more intense. Okay, check the corner. Oh. Oh shit. No! Save him. Save him, Salah. No! Wow, how did he not hit that hostage? Disarm that fucking bomb. You go rescue the hostages and lead a conga train out of here, please. There we go. Time to say goodbye. What? Huh? Huh? Where did he come from? Was he just in the corner the whole. <laughs> I cannot describe to you the panic of simply seeing a man with a suicide vest stood in the corner. Okay, everyone, stop everything you're doing and turn the fuck around right now. Oh my god, please. Oh! Wait. Fuck, he got in it! He really just stood in the corner and blew up when he could have took like three more steps forward and wiped all of us, but, uh, but alright, he got a hostage, I guess. God damn, he got a hostage. Oh, we're gonna do this with five hostages freed. Oh, man. Yo, mission victory! God damn. Hostages lost one out of five. Oh, man, this is a hell of a mission, though. I reckon I can give it a second go real quick and just try and do a bit better here. Only just realized they straight up have an ATGM set up pointed at the gate. Glad they can't use that one. God damn. All right, going for a slightly different setup here. All right, hold on. Flashbang in the air. All right, activate Alpha. Charlie, Charlie go. go. So I'm basically just locking this off with four militiamen. They're going to stay there. They're going to cover the door. They should... Oh, he just fucking nailed that. Dude. God damn. Saeed, holy shit, man. All right. Uh, and the other four are going to go over and help actually storm the main building, which was the important part. And actually what was uh, what took most of the time last time. Oh. Oh, hey, buddy, you, you a little toasty over there, buddy. Uh, let me uh, let me just put you out of your misery. There we go. The cameraman still here. Uh, I got to give it to him. Really quite a brave dude. All right, detonate this room. Oh, hey, the desk didn't explode this time. That's a massive fucking issue. The guys are set up. Okay, go code alpha. There goes the flashbangs. Oh, okay, okay. This is bad. This is that. Hmm. I'm gonna hope that flashbang stuns that MG or otherwise those guys may be fucked. Anyway, get through the doorway. And you're gonna have to cut that pie real good. Uh, Diane, you're gonna actually jump through and go into the main area and, uh, and get these guys. Oh, hang on. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Oop. Okay, the first flashbang goes off. Machine gunner stunned. Good. Okay, he's dead. All right, we're sending these guys now. They're no longer held back by the machine gunner. There is definitely a bad man right there. Oh, oh, there's this fucking sneaky suicide bomb from last time. Oh, oh, he got hit by the door. Okay, but, oh, come on. Come on, Malik! Malik, please, you have to make this shot. My, my brother in cry. Well, my brother in Allah. You must, you must. If you fuck this shot up, everyone dies. Oh my God, he did it. Oh, Malik. Oh man. Okay, I think that's actually, uh, that's it. So now we just grab, you grab the hostages. Wait, come on, you mi you're missing one. There we go. go. Get the hostages. All right, let's get. And just run the fuck out of here. Go wow, I totally had those three guys there that I just forgot about. I have so many soldiers that I forget I have teams just sat around the place covering things. I was going to say, oh, actually, no, they're not. Oh, 
Okay, one of the hostages caught a little bullet on his way. Hang on, just duck them into here. Hostages are getting little bullets in their bombs as they escape. Go on, get out of here, get out of here. Go, go, go. What if I simply threw a Molotov at this man? Ooh. All right. Yeah, there we go. That's two stars. Lost three guys. Didn't have to... We could have gone through that with only losing two guys. But uh, we got all the hostages out that time. God, this is fun. This might be the last one we do for the uh, for the day. I'll try and find, like, the biggest mission as well. But this will be the last actual mission we play. This one is called Precious Cargo. We need to extract a VIP. Uh, the enemy has conquered our lands, taken our homes, and enslaved our families. We have a small SWAT element infiltrated in an enemy-held territory and uh, positioned to recover some family members from enemy captivity. This is just Mosul. What? <laughs> <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that. Don't worry, you didn't hear anything. Go watch Mosul. Don't get spoiled. I, I'm trying to tell- this, this just looks like the same apartment and everything. I really- I really like this. Man, the devs behind this game are really nice, by the way. They, uh, a while back, they gave me a free copy of one of their other games when I- after I made a video on, uh, on Door Kickers. So I'm just gonna say, these devs are awesome and very cool and probably like the same movie I like. So that makes them infinitely better human beings than anyone else on this planet. Gotta tell me, I've gotta have enough to, uh, to bring in a shield for this. Ten for- Hmm. All right, one moment. I'm going to grind some stars. By the way, from a quick look around, I do believe that, yes, 16 units, which is what I had in the university mission, may be the most units you can get into any of the vanilla maps. Uh, I'm just flicking around. I don't see anyone. Because see, the 10's right. You could get more guys in with a 10. You could... Actually, no, because you, you only have a maximum of, uh, of... What is it? Of 12 militia anyway. So... The max you really need is six slots, and then anything left over is just normal slot size. But the, the issue is actually, like, can you actually fit them on the map kind of thing. Yeah, it does seem like 16 is the maximum number of units, but uh, considering this game starts off with, like, two guys, I think that's pretty cool. I'm grinding for points. Die. Absolutely wild they straight have a mission generator now. Very cool. I've figured out the best way to grind for points. It's just play these missions. Oh my god, and they, like, immediately generate another one. You can play infinite door kickers. Oh no. <laughs> Three stars! It was only two guys in a room! I can't believe I just kind of found this out of the blue. Hands behind your back. Primary target secured. Wow. Computers have a sense of humor because that operation was called Operation Inept Guardian and there was one guy in the kitchen trying to defend a HVT and I simply walked in the door and shot him with a shotgun then took their HVT. Oh yes, baby. Give me the level four shield. Thank you, thank you. We'll take a pistol with it as well. Uh, not gonna suppress it, no. Uh, helmet, yep. We'll put the combat vest on because it's actually the best armor we can get. We're gonna bring Malik with us, of course. We're gonna bring him with an, uh, an Uzi, I think. Yeah, and he's gonna clear the building. He's actually a constable now, and he's also he's also leveling up his, uh, his skills. And here we go. Oh my god. Yo, yo, oh, oh, oh shit. Bro, 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 please. This was an insane breach. Go. Oh, wait. Shit. No, no. You got to move, mate. You got to move. You got to move. Grab him before he gets a gun. No, Mal. <laughs> oh, Malik's not dead. Okay. All right, we're going to reset. Holy shit, Malik's just gone deep. Yo. Oh. How? How is he not dead? How? Okay. How is Malik alive to start with? Does that man have a fucking sniper? <laughs> what? Give yourself. Oh, please. Oh my god, they got the fucking bomber. Holy shit. Okay, foreign advisors there. Okay, they're moving in. Unarmed grunt insurgent. Good god, he is a sniper. Oh god, Malik's out of ammo. Uh, can he dive? Okay, dive into the room, Malik. Just go. Okay, Hussein's injured. Oh, Malik! No! Oh, that was a bad insert. Oh, god. Trying a different plan this time. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Wow. Turns out just not entering is a much better idea. Okay, ex except for the part where this guy cannot hit his fucking shots. All right, run, pull back. There we go. All right, Nor finally hit his shot. Ooh. What have you got, mate? Oh. oh, no! Damn it, so close. As awesome as my massive complex storm the building plan would have been, uh, it, it, it does seem that the better plan in this case is just... Pop this, and then give them hell. Go. Oh, good shooting. Good shooting. I sure do hope he didn't kill any of the hostages with that one. Jesus. Go, 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 go. Distract him, distract him, distract him for a moment. Distract him. Yes. God, I love that GL. Okay, we need to uh, need to nail this guy now. Quick. Come on, can we? Oh, is it? I feel like I... 
I really like, I, I, I kind of, I kind of this thing where I, I pause and unpause when I'm really tense in this game, because I, I wonder if there's a moment where I can jump in to save someone. But, uh, but frankly, that was one of those moments where I just kind of uh, let my guys do what they do best, which is stare at the enemies and not shoot them properly. All right, Charlie, bravo. Oh. Oh, oh, hello. Oh my God, family member. Oh my God. All right, she's alive. Oh shit, we actually have control of her. Okay, she can stay here where it's safe. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, flashbang there. Am I feeling lucky? Do I feel like my family member's actually over in here or is actually in the far corner? Because they can survive a little explosion. They just can't survive the red explosion. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a big bet with my family member's life that they're not stood in the red. Go! I think I was right. Oh my God, he has an M249. God, look how fast Malik moves with just the SMG. All right, manual breach, here we go. You can just kick the door. Oh, shit. Got him. Oh, get him, family member. <laughs> Hold on. Let's, uh, let's let Malik deal with this one. Oh my God, that was cool. That was a really cool mission. Oh, no one lost, all family members rescued and uh, 10 hostiles killed. Well, that was Door Kickers 2. Thank you all for watching. Uh, man, that was really good fun. Like, surprisingly good fun to, uh, to control a massive force of the militiamen. It was just, I don't know, there's something about having, like, the really dog shit guys that makes me really happy in this game. They're just, like, just throwing enough guys at them that I can breach the building and, and have, like, ten different fire teams covering each other at any one point. It's really cool. I love this. Uh, this game is amazing, and you should buy it. They're always adding more stuff. They're actually approaching the point. Actually, like, I'm not sponsored, by the way, but just just out of the blue, let me just go check their Steam page, because uh, they're actually on discount right now. Yeah, a week-long, like, 10% discount. I think it should still be going on for a while. Yeah, ends of 17th of May, so it should still be going on when this video releases. Uh, but it's also the last um, sale they're having before they increase the price as they move forwards out of early access. So, uh... So there you go. Get the game while it's cheap. It's a good bloody game. It's it's a it's an incredible game. I can't recommend it more. It is really good fun, and uh, and I probably should have made them pay me for that anyways. <laughs> uh, oh well. The real secret is if I keep doing things like this for free, maybe they'll make more games. Anyway, I'll see you around. Thank you all for watching. Farewell.